Hello all. In this week's video, we'll discuss about Traditional's new feature, Access Analyzer. Access Analyzer is an application that helps the administrators and developers to view permissions for the selected user, role, or group. Now let's discuss about the benefits of Access Analyzer. Access Analyzer helps us analyze access to resources, generate a report on a user who has access to a particular table. It helps us prevent from over provisioning permissions and also helps us limit access to certain data, which includes applications, tables, etc. Now let's see how Access Analyzer works in real time in the instance. Access Analyzer gives us options to analyze by user group role. We'll be seeing an example for each of these options. We will show you with an example on how to evaluate the access permissions. Let's take a scenario. As an administrator, I want to understand access permissions to incident tables. Let's try the first option, Analyze by user. Let's select the user as able tutor and select the table as incident. And click on Analyze permissions. This will take us to access results page, which shows information about the access permissions on the incident table. So let's go through one each of these columns one of one by one and see what they're really meant for. Operation. So operation is nothing but the type of operation uh, on the particular table or the resource. You can see this list edit, delete, report on, create, report, read, write, etc. So these are the all kinds of operations on the particular table. Next column is overall access. You can see uh, for a few of the operation it is blocked and few it is passed. It means uh, the particular able tutor has access to create incidents on the instant table, but he doesn't have access to delete instant records on the instant table. Now coming to next column, ACL. We can see this undefined, blocked and passed. Passed means uh, there is an ACL and able tutor satisfies the criteria to create the records. Block means there is an ACL defined, but the particular user doesn't have access to do that particular operation. For example, you can see the delete uh, able tutor doesn't have permission to delete records on incident table. Similarly, undefined means there is no particular un particular ACL defined for this particular operation. So normally, what happens is the uh, the user is blocked from doing executing that particular operation. So this is about the uh, data shown on the access results. Now, when we click on a particular operation, for example, delete, it will take us to the debug logs where you can see uh, required ACL roles. So it means uh, what is particular role is required for the able tutor to delete the records in incident table. So able tutor requires ITL admin to delete records on the incident table. When we click on the further on the access control, it will take us to the access control uh, page where it, it shows more, gives us more information about how the rule has been uh, created. Now let's go back and check for the group analyzed by our option. Now let's select group. We'll take the group as help desk and keep the table as it is and see what all permissions are there for the help desk group. When we click on analyze permissions, we can see uh, even the help desk people uh, users doesn't have access to delete the records on instant table. Similarly, they have few uh, few access permissions like creating a records, writing, uh, rec uh, editing the records on instant table and reading the records on instant table, but they don't have other op option to delete the records on instant table. Now, this is about the group option in the access analyzer. Now, let's see a quickly check on role option. Now, I'll take the ITL admin role and see, uh, see, keep the tel uh, table as it is, uh, instant table, and click on analyze permissions. You can see the delete operation uh, overall access for the ITL admin role is passed. It means that uh, ITL admin has uh, permission to delete records on instant table. That, that's about uh, the three options, uh, role, user, and group. Let's go back and see what all options uh, Access Analyzer provides. So here we can see there's a rule type. Uh, here we can see we can analyze the role, uh, user permissions, access permissions uh, for clients callable script include UI page and rest endpoints. 
uh, again, I will take an example for client call with scripting include. I have created a uh, sample uh, scripting include called access analyzer test. I will check for the role ITL admin. Now let's see what happens. You can see uh, the execution operation for uh, the scripting include is blocked for the ITL admin. It means uh, the particular ITL admin doesn't have the required role uh, to do execution of the script include. Now, let, when we click on the execute, it says required role, ACL roles is ITL. So now let's go back and check for I, with ITL role. Now click on analyze permissions. You can see the overall access is showing as pass and the ACL also pass means the ITL role has access to execute the access analyzer test script include. The more features on access analyzer is uh, one of the features of access analyzer is here you can export the results. So it helps us to uh, like pro uh, create a report on the access and access results. Another feature of access analyzer would be when you click on the access in filter navigator, you can see access analyzer queries. So whatever queries we are doing in the access analyzer page, they are being stored here. You can certainly come back and you can certainly look what all queries you have done and you can also rerun those queries. So that is about access analyzer. Thank you.